Hey everyone, Tony here with RCHelp.com. I know it's been a while, but we're going to get right back into it. Right now you're looking at my Edge 540T. It's a 50 inch wingspan. That has nothing to do with what we're going to do a video on today. Today I'm going to show you how to match a motor to an ESC to a battery. I'm going to show you the equations that you need to use to figure out exactly which ESC and which battery you need to put with a particular motor. There's a lot of people that are making videos and they're saying if you put a bigger battery into an airplane or a bigger battery into a helicopter that it's going to go faster. This couldn't be more wrong and I'm going to explain why later. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the prop off and then take the cowl off so that you can see the motor, see the speed control, and I've already got the batteries out of the, out of the actual plane. So I'm going to take the cowl and everything off and then come back. Alright, so we got the cowl off. Now you can see the motor, you can see the speed control, and I've got the batteries sitting down there that I use in this plane. Now I've only used the 2200 Gens Ace. I have not used the 2650 Sky Lipo. But I know for a fact that that Sky Lipo will be more than enough for this plane. The 2200 is a 25C battery. If you take 2200, multiply that by 25, the C rating, and then divide that sum by 1000, that's going to give you your amperage. 2200 times 25 divided by 1000 is going to equal 55. That means that battery, on a continuous discharge, can discharge up to 55 amps. The 2650 will be able to actually handle a little bit bigger motor. The 2650 times 30C divided by 1000 is going to be 79.5 amps. You're going to be able to pull just a little bit more power out of that 2650 than you are the 2200. Now, even if the 2650 was 25C and not 30, it would still be higher amperage. But the first thing you need to figure out whenever you do this is you need to start out with the motor you need to figure out what motor the manufacturer suggests for your plane. This motor is one of the Bigfoot motors. It's a .32 size, it's a 770 kV, and it's rated at 700 watts. Now I'm running a 4 cell battery on these planes, which is 14.8 volts. The way you figure out your amperage with your motor, because sometimes they're not going to give you the amperage rating of the motor, sometimes they will. On this particular motor they do. They rate it at about 43 amps, but that is with a 92% efficiency rate. If you want to do this at 100%, which will give you a higher amperage rating so you can match your ESC and battery to it, you'll just do it at 100%. You don't have to worry about multiplying by 0.9 or 0.85 or whatever. This one here is a 700 watt motor. You will divide 700 by 14.8. That's going to come out to 47.3, or just a little bit less actually. We're going to say 47 amps. At 47 amps, I've got a 60 amp speed control on here. I know that speed control will work flawlessly. Now the amp rating of the battery, even the 2200, was 55 amps. That's still 8 amps over what the motor is going to pull at full throttle, maximum load, and everything else. Now I also know for a fact that whenever this plane comes down after a 6 minute flight, the motor, the ESC, and the battery are all cool. So how do you match all this up? The first thing you need to do is you need to match your motor with the airplane and what the manufacturer suggests. The manufacturer here suggested an 800 kV motor and basically what I did is I took the can size. It's going to give you the can length and the can width. I took that size and matched it to the closest kV value that I could to the motor that they suggest. They suggested an 800 kV. I'm running a 770. So once I have this motor, now I can try to figure out everything else that I'm going to need. You take the 700 watt value of this motor, you divide it by 14.8 or whatever. If you're going to be running a 3 cell with this, which you can, you would divide it by 11.1. .1. But on mine, I'm running 4 cell. So I would do 700 watts divided by 14.8 and that's going to give me 47.3 amps. Now, that's when I decide which ESC I'm going to run. Now. I know that if I'm pulling 47 amps out of the motor, the 60 amp speed control is going to be able to handle that. Now I need to decide what battery I need to get. I need a battery that's going to be able to withstand at least 47 amps. I'd like to get a little bit higher than that, which is why I went with a 2225C battery and not a 20C. So I went with a 25C2200, which I can get 55 amps out of. 
and that's a continuous draw that's not the burst rate with this setup like i said i nothing even gets hot it i can i can hold everything in my hand as long as i want to after i bring it down out of the air now there's people on the internet that are saying that if you put a bigger battery in your aircraft you're going to get more power this is not true this motor will only pull the power that it needs at that time if you put a bigger battery in your aircraft and you get more speed or you get more torque or more power your battery is not big enough you're running with too small of a battery before and you need to go up on your C rating if and when I put this 2650 in this airplane I am not going to notice any performance difference whatsoever why did I decide to jump from a 2200 to a 2650 because I need nose weight if you need to add weight to the nose of your plane you might as well put a bigger battery in there. I got a deal uh, from a buddy on the forum, rchelp.com, and I couldn't pass it up. It was a brand new battery. He couldn't use it, so he sold it to me. Like I said, I'm not going to get any performance difference at all because I have matched my motor to my speed control to my batteries. If you match those three things, start with the motor, then go to the speed control, then go to your battery, you are going to have a perfect setup. Like I said, do not let these other guys fool you into saying a bigger battery will give you more power. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. I don't know why they're telling you guys this. Apparently, they don't know anything about electronics. So guys, it's real simple. You figure out what size motor the manufacturer wants. Then you figure out your amp draw that your motor is going to be drawn out. Then you match your speed control to that amp draw. And then you match your battery to that amp draw. Everything is matched up. You know it's going to work. You know you're going to have plenty of power. The only thing left for you to do, figure out your prop size. Most of these manufacturers for the motors will give you a suggested prop size as well as the manufacturer for the aircraft itself. They're going to say, like this one here, if you just want to do flying, you'll do a 13.8. And if you want to do 3D, you're going to use a 12.6. So guys, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Just remember... Figuring out your amp rating when only when you only have watts is the wattage divided by the voltage. Uh, the I know that like the the three cells will charge up to 12.6 and yada yada. Just go by what the battery is rated at, which is 14.8, 11.1, along those lines. So you'll do 700 watts divided by 14.8. You'll get 47.3. Then you know that if a, you get a 60 amp speed control, you could even run a 50 if you wanted to. Now you know the size of this, and then you figure out this, which is 2650 times 30 divided by 1,000. That's going to give you 79.5. You know that those batteries are going, they're, they're going to eat up that power, and they're going to be able to withstand it. So guys, I get asked this a lot. How do I match a battery with the motor and the ESC and all that? I hope this kind of clears it up for you guys. If you can do basic math on a calculator, you can figure out these numbers. So guys, if you have any questions, come on over to my forum, join up on there. We have a bunch of people on there that are willing to help. If you belong to a local club that is AMA recognized, come over there and let us know about it. I want to get the word out about getting your AMA membership. Get that insurance. You never know when something's going to happen. Come on over. Let us know about your club. Let us know about you, what you fly, whether it be helicopters, airplanes, or whether you do backyard bashing or you race at a local track on the weekend let us know what you do i hope to see you there guys thanks for watching we will see you guys in the next video